it's Pinkmon and welcome back to the Not So Berry Challenge. So we are about to enter the newly renovated apartment of our heir, Ginger Berry, and I actually think it turned out really cute. Um, let's just go and I will explain how we got the money for all this as we go through it. It's very orange. Um, we still have the nasty pipes because we do need to keep this place in needs TLC form until she's a full-on adult, which is why we also still have a couple of rat holes. But this is the living room, um, and it is very orange and very uh, bringing in elements of cottage core, which is ginger style. It's not totally cottage core because we are still in like an apartment, and the place is also still really small, so it was hard for me to put everything we need in here. I'm still pissed that you can't build on this balcony, but we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> um, here is a litter box because in the last episode we realized that uh, Ginger's baby daddy actually has a cat named Chester, which by the way, he was trapped in the old apartment and I didn't realize until after I stopped recording. So I had to like teleport him out of that apartment. And one really cool thing is he actually attacks the mice for us which is awesome. Ginger definitely appreciates that. So he is a welcome addition to this household. All right. So then we have like no space here. So I had to cram. I actually think I changed the walls in here. I like made the bathroom smaller just so I could cram this little tiny desk area. Um, and here is our little Shiba Inu puppy who now has a name. I will get into that later. Um, here is the kitchen slash dining area the dining area is obviously tiny and cramped but this is what we're working with here's chester on the counter <laughs> but he can go on the counter you know what he deserves to because he's attacking the mice for us so here is the kitchen looking cute and next we have the bathroom pretty basic <laughs> um there's not a lot of room to decorate. I could probably put some stuff on the walls and I probably will at some point, but honestly, this was about as much renovation as I could take. I'm not a builder, so I'm not super into decorating the houses and this did take me forever. So here is the master bedroom. We have this picture of, um, I literally forget his name already. <laughs> I'll check after, but our baby daddy and Ginger. Um, we've got the cat thing over there, cat tower, because that's the only place we could fit it. Um, we've got all these cute little cottage core-ish type decorations on the walls. We got the Shiba Inu planter. And then here is the um, clutter, various clutter. Okay, and then through this wall is the nursery for the pink generation. So it is very pink, which I'm of course excited about. Look at my name. <laughs> Um, Ginger's just standing in here, super pregnant, but over here I decided to move the pink Sheba planter into here since it is the pink generation and it kind of matches perfectly. I love the cute pink curtains and I love this rug and here's, even though one of the babies is a boy, that doesn't matter. We are using two pink, um, bassinets and then look at this Sheba wall decal, adorable. Yep, so, oh my god, <laughs> Ginger looks scary from this angle. But yeah, so that is the renovation of the apartment. I actually think it came out really good. And the reason we ended up having the money for this is because I always get confused whenever I'm having a sim move out on whether we should do sell lot, lot or sell furniture. I don't know. Um, I thought if we sold the furniture, then this apartment would be empty. So I didn't click on sell the furniture. And then we ended up having it all in our inventory, so I should have actually clicked on sell the furniture. So I ended up having all his old furniture in our household inventory, sold all of that, and then we had money to furnish this place. So yay. Now we're down to just $5,000, but I'm finally going to click play. Um, and where is she at in this pregnancy? She is going to give birth any minute. I already have names picked out. Um, what's your name again, dude? Finn. Sorry. <laughs> Finn Bouchard. So, yes. Finn. It is actually prank day, and our girl here needs to work on her mischief skill for her job. 
So that's kind of perfect. People would maybe not get mad, right? Because <laughs> it is prank day. Maybe we can try to do a prank on Finn. Oh, and then our puppy's name. I ended up going with the name Citrus. Thank you to Jet Pokey Trainer Hero for that name suggestion in the comments. I thought that was perfect. Fit the orange gen perfectly. I think he'll be aging up today as well. Chester, no! <laughs> As awesome as it is that you are helping with the rats, that doesn't mean you can just shred our brand new furniture. We gotta yell at him. We're gonna scold him for scratching. <laughs> Stop watching this movie, Ginger. I know you're all emotional because of your um, pregnancy, but look at look at how she's looking at Chester. She's just like done. <laughs> oh my god! And he's looking at her like, "What are you gonna do about it?" <laughs> What happens if they scratch the couches? Do you have to like replace them? So I did give Finn a slight makeover. I think I just added a couple of outfits and added my basic um, skin default and stuff like that to him. Let's go ahead and talk to him a little bit. She's gonna be nice, but then we're gonna go into mischief and work on this prank day thing. We are going to claim to be a criminal mastermind. She's talking about cake, of course. <laughs> She's probably craving sweets right now. I'm honestly waiting for her to go into labor. What else could we do? Uh, most of these aren't even pranks, so... Let's dare him to streak. It looked like he didn't believe that she's a criminal mastermind, so that's funny. Oh my god, wait. Is he gonna do it? Why did he change it? You're not streaking, you're wearing... <laughs> Where did he go? Why is he... What? Is he invisible? Okay, here he goes. He's actually doing it, but he's wearing flip-flops. Oh my god. <laughs> Finn, really? Don't get yourself arrested. Chester's trying to get at... Look how big this mess hole is. This cat could literally go inside here. <laughs> It looks like Chester is about to catch us a mouse. Ah! He missed. I wonder if they can actually catch them. Meanwhile, Finn is still streaking. <laughs> oh my god. Or, oh, you know what I wanted to do before she gives birth? I have to do this before she gives birth. Um, I wanted to have her ask him to marry due to the pregnancy using that one mod. So we're, she's like obsessed with trying to watch a movie right now, but we have to do that because if she goes into labor, it'll be too late. And yeah, I kind of want her to just rush into a marriage because honestly, she's just trying to get money out of this dude. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try that one more time. Bob and Nev, Bob Red. She's like, so uh, shouldn't we get married since Good we're having babies and living together already? Wait. You've satisfied the conditions to get the inheritance money. I missed how much that was. Oh wait, it said you'll get a deposit soon. I don't know. Did we get the money? I'll have to look when I'm um, <laughs> when I'm going over the footage and editing. Serial monogamous. Perform marriages in 20 unique households. Oh, never gotten that before. Um, okay, so they're just instantly married. That's how it works. Signing marriage papers. Oh, okay, so they're just going to go off to the courthouse and do a like an elopement <laughs> oh my god i've never actually done that with this mod but it looks like he actually agreed just married from a wedding the promise of a lifetime hold on i'm trying to read that uh the promise of a lifetime of companionship would make any sim happy signing marriage papers ginger and her soon-to-be spouse are signing their marriage papers it really happened from getting married um, and then this one, hurried wedding from Shotgun Wedding. Ginger likes the idea of getting married, but the circumstances have certainly made it a little weird. Some quick half-secret wedding over an unexpected birth. Oh well, maybe it was fated to happen anyways. She will do her best to make this a blessing and not a curse. She is married now after all. <laughs> I wonder what Finn had to say about this. He has that same mood that signing marriage papers. Um, oh, I guess he has the exact same moodlets. Okay, they are back and they are officially married, I guess? Question mark? <laughs> Let me look at their sentiments and stuff. Um, yeah, so they are officially married. 
And now that she has um, those papers signed, he's gonna see her true self probably pretty soon. Um, because she's been acting nice, obviously, to get him to like her. But yeah, he's gonna find out that his first impression of her, that she was untrustworthy, is definitely <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Sadly for him. We're gonna add some bacon to this lemon bar, which is kind of disgusting, but she's pregnant and don't people have weird pregnancy cravings, like pickles with ice cream or something like that? <laughs> I guess it ends up looking the same, but oh, Jacoba's calling. No, why are you still talking to her, dude? Didn't I like... Yeah, so I actually edited her relationship with the twins, thinking that would make them stop trying to talk to her all the time. But apparently, they're still gonna try to talk to her. We are going to lie about our career to him, which, even though it's under the prank category, she's legit lying about her career. Um, according to the rules, the orange generation is supposed to pretend to be in the business career. At least that's what their kids end up thinking. Um, the pink generation heir thinks her mom was in the business career. <laughs> So that is what we are gonna do, and what else? Let's instill him with false confidence. And maybe we can share a conspiracy theory. She reached mischief level six, yay! Now she can use the phone to play hooky. Ooh. And she's now had a great prank day. Honestly, I don't really care what Finn does, so I don't really care to work towards his stuff because, <laughs> um, spoiler alert, but he's probably not gonna be here too long. Oh, hey, it's the middle of the night and Citrus is aging up. Aw, how cute! He is freaking adorable. Um, when I made him in Create a Sim, I actually made him a little brighter orange than the default Shiba Inu in Create a Sim. But yeah. <laughs> Just waiting for this baby to pop out. These babies. Alright, these guys are up at like 4 in the morning. <laughs> but Ginger's just loading up on sweets. She just ate um, a fudge bar and now she's gonna have a brownie as well. Cause that didn't really fill her up or satisfy her sweet cravings. She should be going into labor literally any minute. Finn is definitely um, more of a health kind of guy than Ginger. He um, He's pretty fit and stuff. So I don't think he would be cool with the amount of junk food ginger makes so he found the one healthy thing in the fridge which was the ham dinner from um winterfest and he had that he wants to woohoo with ginger dude she's literally about to bust babies out of her um yeah so <laughs> don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon i'm gonna have finn take some family leave because he actually is supposed to start his first day of work today but he definitely can't do that because he's gonna have to um, go to the hospital with Ginger. Ah! Ginger has now gone into labor in the middle of making this French toast. I'm gonna let her finish that really quick just so we don't burn the house down or anything. And I guess she's gonna eat before we head to the hospital. Finn is, was in the middle of doing a workout. I guess he decided to randomly stop. But I'm waiting for him to go into, yep, pre-parental panic. <laughs> He's like panicking and she's kind of just like, ugh, whatever, Finn, let me eat my French toast first. Wait, let me get a picture. This is kind of a funny picture. <laughs> I like how Citrus is just sleeping next to Ginger as she's in the worst pain of her life. <laughs> Hurry up and eat the French toast so we can go, girl. All right, we are at the hospital. It's raining. Tell me we don't have a ghost doctor. <laughs> we could have this other doctor, I'm not sure. But what is this, Min Jen? <laughs> Finn is freaking out. He barely knows this woman. He literally just met her. <laughs> and she's now having his children. Now he's running away, which she's probably gonna be mad about. Get back here, Finn. I know you barely know her, but get in the room. Okay, here is our first baby. We already know we're having a boy and a girl. So I came up with some names already. The boy's gonna be Forrest because Ginger's really into cottage core and just nature-y themed names and things. Even though she's not really all that much of an outdoors person in reality, she really just likes cottage core aesthetic. But I thought Forrest was good for the boy because the non-air children do not need to um, go along with the 
Next Generation's theme, so he doesn't have to have a pink name. So he is Forrest. And for the girl, I had a hard time trying to find a name because all the pink related names I could find were like Rose something and we already had Rose Generation which was kind of like a mix between red and pink um, but this is more like actual pink generation and the only kind of names I could think of that were literally meaning pink were like fuchsia and magenta and I just wasn't really feeling those names and then of course there's Sakura which is a Japanese name that means cherry blossom which are these pink pretty trees but like she's not Japanese and I feel like that would be really weird to just <laughs> give her a Japanese name when she's white so I was like um how about I just translate that into English so it literally means cherry blossom so I was like cherry berry <laughs> No, I don't really feel like that works, but maybe Blossom Berry? It sounds cute, and like, I know it's not exactly pink, but it's pink adjacent. I mean, my first gen was Peppa, Peppa Mint Berry. That's not exactly mint color. It's just kind of like a play on words. So I think it's fine. So her name is going to be Blossom Berry, which also just sounds really cute. Also, the pink Powerpuff Girl is named Blossom, so there's another pink connection. There we go, Blossom and Forest. Aww, here's our twins, yay. Let me look at, aww, Finn's actually looking, oh, I was gonna say he looks kinda happy, but he's still kinda freaking out. Remember, he didn't want the babies. He, I don't think he ever wanted kids. He at least wasn't ready to have kids now, that's for sure. Um, let's see, yeah, so he is tense from the new baby. Um, and it says, it's a relief not to not to have to deal with pregnancy. Dude, you weren't even pregnant. <laughs> um, he's going to run on the treadmill. Don't. She's getting some water. That was that was apparently a workout giving birth. I'm gonna send them home since their babies are already teleported home. Ooh, and she definitely put on some pregnancy weight, but it might also be the mounds and mounds of sweets and just like junk food she's been eating in general. She'll probably lose weight when she gets higher in her career and she has to increase her fitness skill as a job requirement. Look at our pink twins. Ah, I'm so excited about pink generation. <laughs> Obviously I love pink. Um, so this is gonna be really fun for me. So they're actually not crying, which is weird because normally when I get back from the hospital, the babies are already screaming their heads off, but it looks like they're actually fine. So that's cool. Um, now that the babies are born and She's locked him into a marriage. Let's start showing him our true colors. So we are gonna go into mean. We're not gonna divorce him right away. She actually didn't cheat, so I don't know why that's an option. I think this is kind of always an option with a certain mod I have, but let's go and give him the cold shoulder. <laughs> so sassy. He's just like, what the heck? Do you still have hormones affecting you? Um, what else can we do? Reveal aspirations for world domination. <laughs> We're also going to argue about parenting already. She's like, I'm not going to change a diaper. You are definitely going to be on diaper duty 100% of the time. He's like, I didn't even want these babies. You're the one who wanted them. Why do I have to change the diapers? Okay, and what else can we do? Let's instigate him a little bit looks like they're arguing about bills or something which i actually have to have her go pay real quick ah it's that glitch where the babies aren't crying but they're actually starving so i feel like would would ginger even take care of them she is evil but i feel like the one thing that she would kind of almost love is her own children um, so we're at least going to take care of them, um, but I don't think she wants to breastfeed. I usually have my sims breastfeed, but I feel like she's just going to use formula. Um, I kind of wish bottle feeding would cost money in the sims because it would make more sense. It would just be more realistic if, um, if it would charge you for the formula. He is pissed now and he's doing push-ups. Oh my god. Um, let's see, did they get any type of sentiment? Oh, so Finn has a festering 
grudge against her and is saddened by her. She honestly couldn't give a crap. Like she doesn't even, <laughs> she's not even sad or like mad at him. She's just like, whatever. That's funny. Aww. All right, why don't you go for a jog or something, Finn? She will definitely be doing the bare minimum for these guys though. Like we're not gonna have her sit here and cuddle them all the time and stuff like that, <laughs> you know? She's not gonna be the world's greatest parent, of course. Why is she talking about fire ants to him? Oh, he didn't like whatever she was talking to him about. She's talking about fire ants to Blossom as well. <laughs> that is so weird, Ginger. I like how the babies don't like her talking to them. That's so funny. It's like they can sense that she's evil. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have Ginger go for a jog real quick with Citrus because she's been wanting to take him out anyway. And yeah, she definitely needs to acquire that fitness skill a little bit at least. She's not gonna love fitness, but she just kind of has to do it for her job. <laughs> Citrus kind of looks like he likes the rain. Aw, even though Finn didn't want kids, I definitely think he loves his babies. He can't help but look at them like this. Look at him, look how he's looking at them. He didn't want them, but he does love them. Girl, why are you jogging in this outfit and heels and stuff? <laughs> I don't know when she changed her outfit, but she did. All right, so we are here with our BFF Cassandra at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Cassandra's feeling really awkward and probably scared to be honest because in the last episode, she was beat up by Ginger. So yeah, of course, it only really makes sense for her to feel weird around her. She actually has not contacted us since that happened. So I guess the beating up technique worked. <laughs> we were just trying to get her to stop blowing up our phone and yeah, she hasn't spoken to us since. So we're gonna join the pranksters and Ginger hasn't apologized or anything and I don't think she ever will. <laughs> but let's go ahead and look at their sentiments. They're still technically BFFs even though their relationship took a huge hit. Um, as you can see here, Cassandra is saddened and hurt by Ginger. Um, we can try to, oh hey, it's one of our other club members. Um, nobody said you could come with us. We're just gonna act like nothing happened and not apologize or anything. Just gonna come and brighten Cassandra's day. Looks like she's hungry, so we'll probably get her some food in a minute. What is she doing? Oh, she's about to use a voodoo doll. Hopefully she doesn't use it on Ginger. <laughs> we just sat in this lady. What, what, what is happening? <laughs> All right, so yeah, she just kind of glossed over what happened and is just acting like everything's normal and she didn't just beat um, her BFF to a complete pulp last time they saw each other. So yeah, she's gonna get to know her because I think she only knows one of her traits, which is evil. Um, and then I guess we can get some food. Let's get Tajine. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and then after that, we can work on scoring some points for the pranksters because we haven't really done anything yet. We could use our mischief skill and also the extreme violence mod, non-deadly interactions because we don't want to be committing public um, murders out here or anything. <laughs> All right, we've got our food. And while she eats that, let me look for a target. We definitely want to go for the jokesters. How about this guy right here wearing a chef hat? We can target him. <laughs> Finn is texting her. Um, want to have a quick woohoo session? Honestly, Finn, <laughs> you guys fought the last time she saw you, but she is being mean to him. She did a rude introduction. And now we're going to go ahead and do some um, mischief interactions, like imply tea sabotage. Is there already fireworks happening? I think we got here kind of late because we had no time to do any of the, whoa, what was that? Did that chick just almost fall? <laughs> Finn is now blowing up her phone. She might have to beat him up too. <laughs> Miss me yet? Want to come over and relax and watch your favorite shows? Yeah, I'm sure that's all you want to do, Finn. He's literally just like, trying to woohoo with her even though she just gave birth. Yeah, I think we definitely have to teach Finn a lesson when she goes home. <laughs> but let's imply jokester sabotage to this dude. 
Nice pants. <laughs> We're also gonna convince him the tea is poisonous and slap him silly. <laughs> Oh my god. Is she threatening to kill him? Because she's talking about graves or something. <laughs> she's gonna slap him silly? Oh my god. That's funny. Okay, so it looks like some fireworks are being set off. Did somebody already win? Pranksters are in the lead. Okay, we're in the lead, probably thanks to Ginger. But let's um, do some more extreme violence type things. Um, non-deadly interactions we are going to snatch his weave <laughs> uh, that's gonna be funny mostly she just wants to rip that stupid chef hat off his head but i'm pretty sure he's still gonna have the chef hat and he's just gonna be bald oh my god <laughs> she just ripped his entire hair off we'll pretend he was wearing a wig that's funny and we won yay we got a voodoo doll she'll definitely be using that <laughs> And looks like everyone's kind of freaked out by her doing that. But um, we barely saw her friend, but it's fine. We are going to go ahead and go home. Reputation status, violent sim. Oh my God. I want to read this real quick. So it says, Ginger has done some violent acts in front of other sims. Sims who witnessed Ginger's violent acts might confront her or curse at her when they see her. Reputation points 10 out of 40. Oh, that must be with the extreme violence mod. I haven't really played enough with that um, to know what that's all about. But she is going to come and um, take care of her needs and then she's going to beat up Finn <laughs> or do something to him. Maybe not beat him up, but. She's definitely annoyed that he has been hitting her up all night, asking to woohoo, especially because they left things on a sour note and she literally just popped two babies out of her um, like today. So <laughs> the fact that he's just like nagging her to woohoo is pissing her off. All right, we're going to come out here and we're going to ask what Finn's problem is. Okay, and what else? We are going to um, insult him. Just let me stew in my bitterness in peace. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna imply his mother is a llama. Just gonna jeer him. Where are you going, Finn? He's doing push-ups again. <laughs> Why does he always do that as a response to um, her being mean to him? Let's criticize his woohoo techniques. Like, why do you, Why would you think I would want to woohoo with you? Like, it's so good. <laughs> oh no. Then she's gonna yell at him. Oh my God, her evil laugh. He's still feeling happy. We gotta fix that. <laughs> Let's go into extreme violence. non sadly, And she's just gonna slap him. <laughs> this is so bad. He might fight back though. Which could get really bad because... I'm sure he has more fitness than her. <gasps> oh! It actually worked. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's about to knee her right in the face. <gasps> Snatch weave. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna rip her hair off. Ah! She's bald. Wait, how do I fix that? Is she passing out? Oh my god. Well, just pretend he pulled her hair, not like actually made her bald because <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> Um, he's feeling confident from that, feeling powerful. Oh my god. Weave snatched. How do we fix it though? Could I just change her outfit and it comes back? Or is she bald in every outfit now? No! Am I gonna have to go and create a sim and find that hair again? Because if so, that is so annoying. I'm mad. Or can we just get rid of this and then it'll come back? <gasps> okay, thank God. <laughs> She's gonna come wake him up and be like, how dare you think you're sleeping in my bed tonight? <laughs> even though his money paid for everything in this apartment. We are going to threaten him with violence. Ginger and Finn now despise each other. That doesn't look like she's threatening him with violence, but okay. We are going to insult his intelligence. Um, give him the cold shoulder. Instigate him. Yell at him. Blame for problems in the relationship. 
it's not much of a relationship because they barely know each other and they're married. <laughs> the babies are screaming their heads off um, in the background. <laughs> He's actually trying to take care of them right now. I'm gonna let him do that. Ginger is just over it. She's gonna go to sleep. Ginger is going to lock the door for everyone but her so that Finn cannot sleep in there anymore and he is just going to sleep on the couch. So this is how his life is going right now. <laughs> And I think I'm going to wrap this part up right here. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're ready for some craziness in the upcoming episodes with the Extreme Violence mod. <laughs> it's going to get weird, but yeah. I hope you all have an amazing day and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!